huge bubble in our housing sector. It's making houses unaffordable for many Australians, but it's also, uh, if you like, um, changing investment patterns in the economy uh, in, not, in, not a, in a not very good way. So they should have moved comprehensively on doing something about negative gearing and the capital uh, gains tax discount. They haven't done that. Uh, I, th I think the housing market, uh, the heat's coming out of it anyway, but there needs to be fundamental reform for the long term. We didn't see that last night. Yeah, very interesting that you just said that there is a housing bubble because uh, many policymakers and the bankers and everyone say, no, it's fine, it's just uh, a well, supply issue. Well, they're all making a lot of money out yeah, of it. Yeah, right. <laughs> so there, what else can the government then do? You mentioned negative gearing. They're probably not going to uh, want to touch that. Uh, but, I mean, the announcement that we got on the first home buyer side of thing, you can put money... Uh, into your superannuation, it's going to be taxed That's less. You guys tried something similar when you were in government and it didn't work, so why do you reckon they've gone down this road again? Is it just a token gesture? I think it's only a token gesture, but if our proposal had been working for the last four years, it would have actually had an impact. Uh, it was a far more generous proposal than the one they announced last night, just window dressing, because they, for ideological reasons, won't, tax, won't, won't touch the negative gearing provisions, which are the key to solving this problem.